Want to see the latest and greatest outdoor and survival related gear reviews? Then make sure you subscribe to my channel. So the SCX-10 is a pretty sick little hatchet. It's got a hammer pommel on the back. The blade is made from 3CR13 stainless. Then it's got this powder coating on it and a very nice TPR handle. On the bottom, it's got a lanyard hole and they just throw some nylon in there. I'll probably either remove that or replace it with paracord. It's certainly a great looking hatchet with that stainless up front and the powder coating on the back. The handle has some grooves in it, making it feel great in the hand no matter where you choke up. So size wise, here's the SCX-10 and the SCX-2L. Now I love the 2L. I use this a lot for processing wood. It chops like crazy. It's the perfect weight. You can still throw it in a bag. So definitely a great ax here. And the SCX-10 would sort of be like its little brother, uh, full tang hatchet. You can see that it has the same TPR on the handle. This one's just got a little bit of uh, you know, design in it and some finger grooves and this one's just got the finger grooves but both great as far as how they feel in your hand and how they're weighted and things like that it's got about the same size pommel although it doesn't have this waffle design which helps when you're swinging at uh, stakes and things like that helps it not to slip off but it's still got a pretty nice pommel on the back that you could certainly use to pound in stakes the scx 10 has a 3.55 inch cutting surface where the SCX2 has a little bit larger cutting surface at 4.2 inches. It's got a 5.91 inch handle with an 11.01 overall length and weighs in at 1.37 pounds. Perfect for attaching to your pack, maybe keeping in a bug out bag or a survival kit. Perfect little all around camp hatchet if you don't want to carry the larger size 2L. Now the 2L does come with a nice sheath, but I upgraded it with a Kydex sheath from C2G Fab. I'll put a link to his website below if you want to pick up a very cool Kydex sheath. I'm probably going to have a Kydex sheath made for this SCX-10 because it comes with this kind of nylon fiber uh, mask here. It does have a belt uh, sort of a, uh, a way that you can put a belt in on the back, but generally I wear um, riggers belts or duty type belts and you might have a hard time getting a belt through there and I'm not sure how long this plastic is going to hold up. It seems like over time it's going to break or uh, you know rip like plastic tends to do uh, in the creases, but we'll have to see. I mean it is functional. It does work but I'm probably going to upgrade my sheath. The sheath works by just slipping in the hatchet here and then it's just got a button that snaps it in. So it does protect the head and I mean it's okay for what it is but I don't see it holding up for very long. I think the main thing for me that I like about the SCX-10 is how well balanced it is, how good it feels in the hand, especially with gloves. It's got a, a small handle so it feels really good with just your hand or with gloves on, it feels really good as well. It's got an insanely sharp edge. I did touch up the edge a little bit uh, out of the box, but I was using this the past weekend along with the larger ax just to see how well this chops, and it chops pretty well. You wouldn't want to process a whole lot of firewood with it, but you can certainly do enough to get a fire going and maybe sustain a fire. And it's also gonna be great for just your all around camp tasks like uh, making you know tent stakes making traps this would be a great item for uh, someone who traps a lot making certain traps and things like that notches and just needing something to carve out uh, wood with this would work perfect for that if you were making spoons or something like that uh, camp you know utensils again this would be perfect for that
So I do like the SCX-10 quite a bit. It's very comfortable in the hand, it's well balanced. And if you're looking for something a little bit smaller than a regular Axe or the smaller SCX-2L to put in a pack, bug out bag, or survival kit, maybe the SCX-10 might be for you. I was able to get it really sharp. I like the coating on it. I like the TPR handle. And again, I would upgrade the sheath, but the sheath that comes with it is good enough for you know just throwing in a pack or for general use. Price wise, it's about half as much as the SCX 2L. I'm not sure that it's released yet. I think you can order it from their website. It's a 2016 product, so I'm not sure that vendors have it yet. On the website, it's listed for about $35, whereas the SCX 2L is listed around 60. So both are great, uh, you know, both have a great price for what you get, and I'm super happy with both items. Now, Shrade also sent another item for me to check out. This is their brand new, uh, one of their brand new neck knives. This is the SCH47TA. It's got the uh, Tonto tip up there. It's got a nice finger guard here with a little bit of jimping on the top of the handle. So that makes it fit really good in my hand. I do have larger hands, so my pinky is pretty much off the back there. But for a neck knife, I really only grab them with three fingers anyway and you're just gonna be doing small cutting tasks and things like that, maybe opening packages or around camp, just you know, slicing things open, maybe a little bit of food prep. Of course, the Tonto style blade is nice for fighting, so it's a good defensive weapon as well. This one is 9CR13 MOV with a titanium coating on it, and then it's got 550 cord wrapped around the handle. It is a full tang neck knife, so that's pretty cool as well. Again, I'm not really a huge fan of the sheath that comes with. It's got that, you know, that, that fiber nylon, sort of real cheap plasticky feel to it. I'm not sure how long it would hold up. It's got very small, you know, kind of cheap rivets in it. Probably something that you're gonna wanna upgrade. It does come with a beaded necklace, which is nice, and it does function perfectly fine. So again, for, you know, everyday purposes and things like that, it would probably be okay. But if you were gonna make this your main neck knife and wear it a ton, probably gonna wanna upgrade that sheath. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, taking a look at two brand new products from Trade. I think they're both pretty decent products. The SCX-10, definitely useful if you're looking for something smaller than an ax and you know, who doesn't need a neck knife? I'm a pretty big fan of neck knives. I have several different neck knives and I'm liking this one as well. So I'm gonna leave some links below to where you can find out more information on these products as well as current pricing. I hope you guys give this video a big thumbs up for me. I always appreciate it when you share my videos on social media, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. And as always, click that red subscribe button for more videos.